Hey guys, I hope you're having a great day. Welcome to my office. I will do a tour around my office because I know a lot of people have been asking for it. It's just not quite done yet. I have a desk, I have some of my papers, and I still need to hang my paintings and artwork and um, get a few more things. I have a vision and I'm sticking to it. So today I wanted to talk about uh, a very important topic, something that I believe is the key to our freedom, our success, our life, all of our dreams, and just joy in general, and that is self-love. It is to me the key to inner freedom. And when you are free internally, you are free externally. Because I know what it's like to, you know, create this life that I thought I had wanted, the income that I thought I had wanted, and be from a space of um, just hustle and hard work and just get it done to make the income. And it doesn't last if it's not coming from that space of love and freedom. If you don't have the freedom within, you can't sustain the freedom externally, is what I'm trying to say. So, um, this beautiful girl came to me last week and we had a coaching call and she had come to me because she realized she wasn't as happy as she could be. I am like in a smoke show right now because I have incense <laughs> burning, so don't mind that. Um, she came to me because she wasn't living truly happy and she realized she was relying on other people for her happiness. And the reason she came was because she was feeling exhausted and drained and she knew there had to be a better way. Now she's very young, which I actually think is so amazing that someone in their early 20s could come and know that they need this support, that they know that it's time to reconnect with who they are and what they're here to do. And so we had a beautiful coaching call. We gave her, we walked through some really good tools. We opened up to some of her story that she was hooked into, her shadow, the reason why she was, you know, working so hard to um, support other people and also relying on them to support her and what was really causing it and some tools she could use to get past it. Because what what happens is if you're disconnected from your self-love, if you're disconnected from your intuition and you know spirit, if you choose to believe that, you're in chaos. So we all have this beautiful internal voice and internal guidance system. We all have this abundant amount of radiating self-love. We just choose to tap into it or not. So a lot of people um, that we work with, if it's in our group programs or one-on-one, -on -one, they come to us because, and they come to me because they feel like they're unworthy. They're unworthy of the business they want to create. They're unworthy of their income. Really what that tells me is they don't love themselves enough to believe. And that all stems from a shadow, so that's something that we can definitely work on and heal. But in this exact case, this girl was relying on her partner for her happiness. Now, how many people out there can actually say that they rely on their partner for happiness? You know, they rely on their boyfriends to set their weekend plans. Um, they rely on their boyfriends to tell them it's okay to go forward with their dreams. And I know this, what this feels like, because I was there. I would rely on Ryan all the time. I would go to him with ideas. I would go to him with, um, you know, him to plan our weekends, him to plan where we're going out for dinner, like all these things. And I felt like I was just very disconnected. And that was just my own self-worth and my disconnect from self-love. So the biggest tool, and I, I gave this to her and I'll give this to you, to really infuse that self-love. It's really opening yourself back up to self-love because it's in there is to either choose, you have two options here, to stand in front of the mirror every day and declare, I love you, Chris. I love you, Anna. I love you, Ryan. And declare this by staring into your eyes in front of a mirror. If you do it for you know five minutes a day for the next seven days, your life will start to shift. What happens is your filters start to break free of your feeling like you can't do it, that I can't achieve anything, that I'm not good enough, because you're you're reconnecting back to your soul by saying these words. And at first it is awkward. It's hard. If you don't believe it, it's going to be kind of awkward. So just start saying, you know, I love you. Maybe you don't want to put your name attached to it yet because that might be a little difficult for you. It's okay. Start with what feels good. 
You know, I like to tune in and just see where I'm at and what feels right for me. The second option you can do is to grab your journal and start free writing in the morning and asking, what do I love about myself? You know, what am I great at? What do I help people with? And we do this a lot in our masterclass, our Soulful Money Masterclass when it comes to business. Because a lot of people are blocked thinking they don't have enough value to give because they're not a six-figure earner yet or they're not a seven-figure earner yet. But the truth is they have gifts. We all do. We all have this beautiful story that's waiting to be shared. We all have this radiating self-love within us that really needs to burst out so we can live wildly free. So you have two options. Try both if you want, or try one. This is where I want you to get really connected with your own intuition and ask yourself, do I wanna do one or two exercises a day? Stand in front of the mirror for five minutes a day, free write every day. What do I need to do? And just let whatever comes through you flow onto that page. And then with that, take the inspired action that you're led to do. And this is where you can really start to crack open that self-love again and prove to yourself through your intuition that you do have value to offer, that you are capable of loving yourself, that you actually truly do, behind all this muck and layers, truly love yourself. You have to. You are here for a reason, you are here to shine, so of course you have love that within yourself and this confidence that you might bump up against feeling like you're not confident enough or this self-doubt that you face it's all just an illusion. It's all just muck piled up of old beliefs that will start to will start to dissolve, will start to remove one block at a time. And that's what I do with my private clients is remove one block at a time. So I hope this video helped you today. If so, give it a thumbs up, comment below if you have any questions or for some future videos that you'd like to see. And let me know how your exercises go. If you choose to do one or two a day, or which one you choose and what comes up for you. I look forward to talking to you soon. Take care. Bye.